Alrighty, if you have just watched the first video, the quick and easy way to do it, that's cool because it's going to save you uh, me some explanation. But if you haven't, you're just going to have to catch on. Um, now we're going to go a little bit more detailed converting a 9 paint over to 10. Uh, first things first, I will mention that we will be re-uploading the paint kit soon and it will be including a cargo uh, version of the fuselage along with this right here. This will be a folder called FSX Alpha Textures. And uh, I'll explain in the video what these are used for. But uh, the Alpha Textures used for Flight Simulator 10 are way different than the ones you would use in 9. So uh, I'll have that open and I'll be using it. And uh, when you actually are watching this video, you'll have them if you re-download the paint kit. Um, what we're going to do now is uh, once again, I've done this twice now. Uh, we're going to copy over from Flight Sim 9. As you see, this is 9. I've converted all the day textures again to Targas. So we'll copy this straight over to Flight Simulator 10. We'll get rid of that because we're not going to use it anymore. Alright, inside of Flight Simulator 10, we're going to trim the fat, so to speak. We're going to get rid of the textures that we don't really need. Uh, first and foremost, all these virtual cockpit textures. Everything that says LVLD underscore B6 is gone. I'll explain why later. Taxi on left and right. Don't need those. Belly Knight. Pratt and Whitney Knight. Fuselage. Oh, excuse me. Where's it at? Uh, wing left, wing right Knight textures. Uh, also, we don't need those anymore. Now, uh, excluding the Targa files, we have 14 files left. You know, 34 megabytes when before we had well over 60 megabytes worth of textures. So we've cut this file size in half already. Forgot to start my timer. Um, excuse me, I had to get a drink there. Now we have our targets. We have the necessary files. Now we need to go, uh, we're in Flight Simulator 10 here, the winglet aircraft folder. Go to the texture.x house, that's the default text, uh, default uh, paint, paint scheme. We're going to arrange everything by type, make it a little bit easier. We're going to copy the texture config, the thumbnail, and all of these uh, X files here. And basically, uh, these are all your Fresnel and uh, spec uh, excuse me, specular and uh, bump mapping textures. You're not really going to mess with those. Uh, we're going to need our lights and Fresnel, and everything else can stay there. So we're going to copy those, go to our Austrian. I'm going to paste them in there. Now, this this folder is almost ready to be converted over to X. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to get rid of these day textures that we already have made into targets. So the belly, Pratt and Whitney, fuse left, fuse right, wing left, wing right, and wing let. We don't need those bitmaps anymore because we're not going to be using them in 10. Um, explain to you real quick here, uh, texture config. What it does is uh, this is a uh, file that uh, tells Flight Simulator 10. If the texture you're looking for is not in the uh, the texture folder here, this is texture.os for Austrian. If the texture that you need to display this part, I'll be at, uh, for example, the virtual cockpit. If the virtual cockpit textures aren't in here, look in these folders for that texture. And that's all it does, basically. It just tells, it tells the game, hey, look back here for here. Uh, look back here to find these texture folders or to those missing textures. So by default, yours should have seven entries, just like that. And if you copied it from the X house, you should have it correct. Uh, the, the other addition you'll notice is the thumbnail. This is a 400 by 200 JPEG image. This is the picture you see in the pre, uh, not the preview window, but when you go to select aircraft in Flight Simulator 10. 
this is the uh, picture that will be displayed that represents your paint job. And uh, I've already made one for Austria, and I'll copy it over later after we get the paint ready. So, um, with all that being said, we'll go ahead and jump right to it. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and start with the belly. So we'll get it opened up in Photoshop here. And go right to your uh, Channels tab. And down just where it says Alpha 1, click there. You see how it makes all the others not visible anymore? So if you click RGB, it brings back the color. Alpha displays the Alpha. To display them both at the same time, you would click the the eye here but we're wanting to all we're going to do is just copy over the alpha I've made it really easy for you by making those files so we will open up in the paint kit folder the FSX alpha textures folder and we want the um, belly alpha so file open uh, I got it on my desktop for right now uh, belly Alpha, where are you? There you are. I'm going to open that. I'm going to Control A, select all, Control C to copy, and we're going to paste it over the alpha of our belly target file. And there it is. So, uh, in Flight Simulator 10, the alphas are much darker. You can leave it the same, but in order to make it, in my opinion, it looks so much better if you make it the darker alpha. So that's why I made those for you. You can do it either way you want to do it, quicker, long. Anyway, so that's done there. So uh, we can go ahead and save the belly target and close it. And we can get rid of that one because we're done with it now. Uh, we'll go ahead and do Pratt & Whitney. File Open. Engine Alpha. Control A to select all. Control C to copy. Go to our Engine Alpha, uh, our Engine Target. Go down to the alpha channel and we're going to paste it over top here. Reselect RGB to make it colored again. Save it and close it. Close that one. A few slides left. Go to the alpha. It's all one solid color, which looks great in Flight Sim 9. Not so great in Flight Sim 10. So we're going to open. Um, I've made. Let me. I didn't mean to do that make the icons here get rid of that I've made the uh, window files here representing each window configuration for left and right you have the uh, emergency exits and then the double large door before the wing so uh, we have emergency exits here so we're gonna open the fuse left alpha control A to select all control C to copy and we're gonna paste it over top here now when you do this you want to not click here, but click here to make it visible over top of the alpha. And you're going to double check that you have all the windows installed. Uh, the windows are darker, as you'll notice. And uh, what that does is uh, it makes it appear as true glass when you're in the game. It'll put off a different level of reflection and refraction when you're actually looking at it and uh, panning around the aircraft. It looks great. Um, so you just want to double check. It should be all right because uh, Austrian is one of the few airlines that uses every single window on the plane, and uh, the Alpha textures that I provided for you have every single window. So you just keep clicking it on and off, kind of like when you did your night textures, just making sure that every window is represented, and it looks like it is, should be. So the Alpha is applied to the fuse left target, so we will save it and we will close it. Get rid of that. Fuselage right. Go down here to our alpha. We're going to open emergency exit, fuse right. Copy it. Paste it over. Again, double checking the windows. Ah, I have not done this one yet. I did that on purpose. Not really, but just to show you if you do need to edit some windows, this is how you would do it. All you do is uh, with your alpha channel selected, you just uh, make a really close uh, selection of that window. Control C to copy it and make your other part visible here. Don't click up here. Make sure your alpha is selected. Just make it visible. And you can Control V and paste it and just drag it straight over. 
again control V you see it just keeps pasting in that selection kinda makes it quick for you make sure they're all lined up I'm a big uh, alignment freak ah. as you can see here normally I'd do this separate but I just want to show you just how quick and easy it is before you get discouraged uh, or lazy and don't want to do it. It's really easy to do. It doesn't take no time at all. And as you can see here, I'm done. Oh, I forgot the front window. All right. So now that that's done, our alpha is got all the correct windows. So we will file, save it, get rid of it, don't need it. Wing left, this is simple as just copying over the alpha just like the belly and the engine. Wing left, looks different, don't it? Paste it over, save it, yes, close, wing right. And uh, the winglet should be okay already. Yeah, we'll leave it alone. You don't have to co uh, add any textures to it. All right, so our targets are saved. Uh, they are, should be, now they have the new alpha channels and uh, when I come back to the next video, I will uh, we'll convert them over to DDS and we'll finish this thing up. So, see you in a sec.